Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome to the next major project here on the channel. After I Let's Played Earthbound, I decided to delve into exactly what made this series so great in my eyes. I wanted to find the formula so that I could copy it down and, <laughs> and patent it. And I wasn't sure if maybe the series was good because of the game's natural charm and wit that just naturally lended itself to being Let's Played that I was able to unwind and focus more on talking about the game rather than surviving in-game. That's possible. Or was it that going into the series, I was undecided on how much I liked it. I had played it once before and wasn't sure that it was actually good. I thought it might have just been over overpraised due to nostalgia of the people, of the children who grew up playing it. But my open mind going into it made me eager to learn. And eventually, I learned that it was every bit as good as people said. So with this game, I looked to find a title that was highly praised but never had the front row or the spotlight in the gaming community. And that game, <laughs> oh man, I am proud to present is... Super Paper Mario! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome to the next series here on the channel, Super Paper Mario! Released in 2007, this game broke the trends of gameplay set by its predecessor, Super, or uh, sorry, not Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door, and the original Paper Mario. It is now widely regarded as a black sheep of the series, and while it's a good game in its own right, it, it <laughs> you'll see, it doesn't really feel like a Paper Mario game. It's a platformer, and it's an RPG, it's really weird, but... This game needs no introduction beyond the one that it just naturally provides, so let's jump in. Uh, let's see, I'm going to be named... Actually, I should probably name myself Mario. Yeah, I'm gonna name myself Mario, because otherwise it'll probably... It'll probably not call me Mario. M-A-R-E-O. There we go. Done. Use this name? Uh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I have a better one. Eh, I, I promise I won't spend a lot of time here on this menu. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, R, T, I, O. There we go. That's the name we're gonna go with. Mardio. Use this name? You bet. Saving settings. Please do not turn off the power. Save complete. Man. Uh, uh, I have never... You know what? I I'm just gonna throw this out here right now. I've never played a, a Paper Mario game. Ever. I have not played Super Mario RPG. I have not played any of the, the uh, Mario & Luigi games. So this is literally my first experience with a, uh, a Mario RPG type game. Wow, sure is peaceful today, eh bro? Makes a guy feel lucky, having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. It's so peaceful it's almost a little bit boring. It makes you just want to kerblooey, <laughs> you know? Some kind of shocking event. Oh, I'm Mario. I do not speak. I just make noises. Oh, at Princess Peach's place, maybe? I cannot do <laughs> a, uh, an Italian accent in that voice. That'd be cool, eh, bro? Maybe we should visit Mushroom Castle. It has been a while. I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Okie dokie, let's go. Out the door. Mario, help! <laughs> oh my goodness, the Toad voice. Uh, um, Toad? <laughs> what happened? Why are you so crazy? <laughs> Th that's my Italian accent, just adding uh after every other word. It it's shocking! Mushroom Castle raided! Princess Peach stolen! You heard that here first, folks. Princess Peach is property to be stolen. Not kidnapped, stolen. What? Why, that's a ridiculous. Uh, who in the world would do such a thing? Uh, he's now just Jar Jar Pinks. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I've got it. Uh, bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. Oh, you mean that guy? Okay. I won't stand for this. Uh, we'll have a... <laughs> Oh my god, this is getting too much. We'll have a sneaker into the castle and rescue a princess a Picha. <laughs> Let's uh, go, uh, bro, uh. 
Uh, I can already tell the voices in the series will be amazing. We're counting on you, Mario! Bros! <laughs> uh, great moments. Great moments to open a game with. Not just a cutscene, but a cutscene that I can do voices in. Oh boy. Wahaha! Also, I just realized this is the first Mario game I've ever played on the channel besides Mario Kart. Wow. Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today's the day that I will make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stump her little mustache buddies. Yeah! We're under attack. It's our turn! It's our turn! Bowser! Your rudeness, it's our turn! Bwahaha! <laughs> We're under attack! You jokers are the best! Oh my goodness, I just thought of a great voice for Bowser. Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions! He's just gonna be Hercule Satan now. Blarg, Mario, and, Lu and Luigi! How'd you get in here? <laughs> my hand? What? My front gate was open. How many times have I, ho have I told those idiots? If you're la the last in, lock the gate. Quiet, you big Bowser. Oh, wait, sorry. Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Apicha. Now, where do you put her? What? what, what, what? Uh, we're, we're only now just about to launch our attack. Mario, help! So many voices. Princess Apicha! <laughs> Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You. Wait, by who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor, sorry, the chosen executor of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come in this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make an even bit of, uh, yeah, I can't talk with all these voices. I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense, Count Black. Enough, release Princess Peach right now. I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black says never. This princess is integral to filling our prophecies. She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds. By Count Black. Destroy all the worlds, huh? Oh, I will jump. Oh no, the black squares were playing Twilight Princess. Oh no. Big Abroa. This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down. Oh, wait, sorry, that's him talking. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down and free the princess, or else. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, king, uh, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. Look <laughs> at Bowser's face. Ha <laughs> Black. Bowser's face is just too good. Oh, look at his arms! Save us! No, I'm done for. <laughs> Black! Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold, foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> Black! Talk about a game just throwing you right into the midst of things. It's just an average day in the life of Mario. <laughs> Ario. Mario. Okay, good. It doesn't actually say our, our name that we logged in on. Good. Because that would have been a little bit ridiculous. Are you awake? My name is Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario. I came to find you. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh. 
then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the Void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. And with the power of Windows 95, we will minimize Mario and Butterfly, or Tippy. And here we are! Once again, through the power of Windows 95, you can minimize and maximize Windows at will. Oh-ho! Well, well, well! Back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the Light Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. <laughs> Me! I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name? Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So, Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. <laughs> it is a void. It looks just like a black hole, but also crossed with Twilight Princess. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? It is a hole in the very th dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. It is, is it near or far? None know. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the Dark Prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two sh shall call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky, and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted from... It, it quoted is from the light prognostic prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this: the void will swallow all. Not can stop it unless one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of the eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is written. And just like that, we get a a uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day candy. This is one of the pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Uh, you know, if there's a choice, I should say nah, because that would be hilarious. Nah. What? How could you refuse? If you do not accept this, all worlds will end. You must. Uh, but... I I have other things to do. I won't. I don't want to. After all I have told you, you still refuse? You are our very last soap. Wait, what? What did I just say? Hope. You are our very last hope. This is the final time I'll ask you. Please save the world. Uh, you know what? No, I don't really care about living. I don't like life actually, and I don't. I don't really care about anything. Goodbye. I see. Then all worlds are as good as doomed. Oh! And we get a game over. <laughs> and it kicks us out to the title screen. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me cut back to where I was. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction! <laughs> I will. I would also like to mention that getting that game over actually makes it so I have to restart the game. So I had to go through all those cutscenes again. Excellent, you truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this! And to steal from Chugga Conroy's style, you got a pure heart! The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. 
Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you're through with this task. This way. When this when the up arrow appears, uh, press the direction on the D-pad to examine things or to talk to people. So I can do that. Wait, wait, wait. I can do that and talk to him. Tippy will guide you to where the heart to the heart pillar, where you must place the pure heart. Now be on your way, young hero. Okay, so I can move with the D-pad, press two to jump, do a short hop. I can't run. I can duck, though it doesn't really change my uh height anymore. Although I can I can do this, which means I should. Okay, uh, let's use the elevator here, and go down. So, like I said, this is the first time I've ever played a Paper Mario game, or a Paper Mario, or a, a Mario RPG, period. So, all of this will be fairly new. Now, I have seen this game Let's Played, so it's not completely blind, but it has been years since I've seen the Let's Play, so it's semi-blind? Come along, okay, I'm gonna follow Tippy here, through the town. Actually, you know what, let's talk to you. Ah, hello there. Is this your first time in Flipside? We don't get many visitors, so I am ever so glad I got to meet you. Take care. Who, who are you? Hmm, this town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Uh, I guess, if that, okay. Uh, where do we go? We go through here? Press it. Okay, I'll press it. There we go, we get a very strange escalator that go that can go sideways, or elevator that can go sideways. Uh, awesome. Now, because this game is fairly blind, I will not be doing it 100%. Uh, I will be... I'll be getting things that are worth showing off. So, like, if there's... If there's a quest that you want me to do, go ahead and throw it out there, and I'll probably do it. But just know I'm not doing this game 100%. This is the heart pillar. Now, get close and place the pure heart. You got it, girl. That... Probably bad for our ears, because that looks like shockwaves of sound, which are not fun to uh, experience. But that aside, we have the candy heart. Oh my goodness. Inside the pillar. And it does what? It opens a door that I assume will take us to our first level. In fact, I can't really I assume, because I, I know it will take us to the first level. Which is one of the ways this differs from other Paper Mario games. Now, let's return to Merlin. And we will do that returning... You know, actually, let's let's do it this episode. No, 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 no. I don't want to go in the menu. Let's do that returning this episode. Let's see, what did I bring up to do that menu? Okay, A and B. Interesting. Uh, what happens if I do this? Okay, another menu. And this? Okay, that's, that's our controls. Interesting, okay. That's... that is good to know. Uh, let's go back down, and I will meet you back at the, uh, the tower. Back at the top. It's a very colorful door. Ah, the two of you are to return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. <laughs> we get a candy cane pipe. It will return us to Flipside from afar. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. To use your return pipe, just go to the important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from Flipside might not reach. So we can use it anywhere in the universe, except in places that we can't use it anywhere in the universe. The light prognosticus foretells that the hero will meet a dimension governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. 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 I'm almost certain this refers to my friend, the Flip Wizard, Bestovius. So go now through this door and seek out Bestovius! Well, let's get going. Okay, I think I'm actually going to end it here. Usually I kind of have the first episode of a series to follow a pilot episode type format where it's a little bit longer, but I don't think I'm going to do that in this series just because the, the, 
game is structured around levels, so otherwise I might have to stop mid-level, which isn't kind isn't really conducive. So I'm just gonna stop it here. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Saturdays are sometimes Alpha, Beta, Omegas. I'm actually changing up the schedule a little bit, just to uh, accommodate that, since I wanted to do more ABOs, and that's a way that I could force myself to. So, I'll see you guys next time where we will head through that door. And hopefully I'll get to talk a little bit more because the beginning of the game is kind of text-heavy. Alright, see you guys then!